Welcome to Vancouver Island Regional Library's Memora Training. Episode 7, Project Exporting. We have now put in all of our titles, we have our color correction done, our audio levels changed, and our story is built. The very last thing that we need to do is export our project. This is a very simple thing to do. Of course, before you export, you should make sure to save your project. You should also do this periodically while you're working on the project to make sure that all your changes get saved. All that we have to do is select export. You can choose to export locally, like to your desktop, to a device, like a phone, to YouTube, Vimeo, or a DVD. We'll select locally. The first thing you'll need to do is select the format that you want to save it to. MP4 is typically the best format. You'll be directed to choose the name of the file. We'll change this to Wintertime Suet Spread Video. And you'll also be selected to where you want to save it. This could be your desktop and your documents, just about anywhere. The resolution, frame rate, size, and duration will stay static. If you need to reduce the file size of the video, select Settings. We'll have to change the resolution in order to reduce the file size. In Settings, you can choose Best, Better, or Good, or modify the settings manually. When we select Better or Good, Really, the only changes is here in the bit rate. It's best practice to ensure the frame rate is at 30 frames per second. No more, no less, because that will make the video look the most natural across viewing platforms. When you're happy with the export details, select OK. Now we're ready to export. We're also going to be asked to indicate what kind of video we're creating while the video renders, as you can see on the side. If we don't want to do this option, we can always press skip and allow the video to continue to render. This will take a little bit of time, but that's okay. If you need to fix something in your project, you can come back here to the project space and change things around and make another export whenever you need. All that's left now is to share your work with your audience on YouTube, Facebook, or whatever platform you desire.